How to make a man chase you, 7 ways that work every time. You might have heard the advice, a real woman never chases a man, dot she gets him to chase her. And that's great advice and I'm not here to burst that bubble. But, dot the real question is, how does a girl go about doing that? You know, being a real woman, a real powerful femme fatale that has the confidence and je ne sais quoi to make a man crazy with desire? Or to put it in more modern terms, dot how do you get the X factor to make guys want to chase you? Here are 7 tips that really work and will send subtle but strong hints to Mr. Right that it's time to become a hunter. 1. Stop chasing him. This doesn't mean you can never make a first move or be nice. But once he feels a connection with you, it's time to step back and let him do the talking and the chasing. A man gets a rush from the thrill of the chase and if you try so hard to help him along and give direct orders on how he should romance you, he's going to think this is all way too easy. So if you sense you're losing control and starting to crave his attention and time, chill out. Take some time to yourself and be a little mysterious for a while. 2. Don't show weakness. Whether you want to call this healthy self-confidence, or just stubbornness, in that you never let him see you sweat, never cry over him or let him know you, need him, is up to you. But you must hold on to that deep inner confidence if you want to be chaste. Strong confident women who aren't afraid of a man walking away from them, are attractive. They are almost magnetic to men who love the competition and that thrill of winning, a woman's heart. No, that doesn't entitle you to be Roseanne Barr or Rosie O'Donnell and just start slapping men's egos around like you own the place. Don't show aggression, just show deep inner strength. Let everyone know that your content, no one could ever take away your happiness. Least of all a man. 3. Don't play hard to get, play fun to get. A lot of women fall into the trap of being too difficult and too hard to get, which eventually drives men away. And no, contrary to what some say, men bending over backwards just to get a smile from a scowling woman who has her shields up, is no fun at all. The key is to be nice, playful, interested, dot but unavailable. Maybe you pretend like you don't trust him, or you pretend as if you're busy or hard to impress. But the trick is to always smile, flirt and give him the hope that if he tries a little harder, he can win you over. That will give him an adrenaline rush and he will enjoy persuading you to give him a chance. That's the secret dynamic in the push, pull that so many men like. 4. Find something more important than a man's love. I know, it may not make much sense at all. After all, if you're in love with a great guy, why does the sun go on shining? Why does the sea rush to shore? But here's the thing. Men love you more when they sense that you have your own life, your own dreams and ambitions, and your own passions that are beyond the simple pleasures in life. Believe it or not, they want to be someone important and they want to do something great for the world. When they see the same humanitarian quality in you, they will be humbled and amazed. They will see you have a deep mind, a giving spirit, and a plan on how to live a life with real meaning. The kind of family-oriented partner that would make a good wife and mother. You will be instantly above all the other girls who just want instant pleasure, free stuff, sex and romance novels. You will become the woman he loves, the woman who makes him want to be a better person. 5. When in doubt, retain some mystery. Some women make the mistake of spilling everything, ever, within the first three dates. Tell him everything about your family, your friends, your childhood, your traumatic memories and your sexual quirks. But now the problem is, what's left? He sort of knows everything there is to know about you and now he's losing interest. Real seduction involves revealing the truth of yourself in layers. Share slowly, keep him guessing and share only what is relevant to the conversation. Don't volunteer personal information unless he asks. The less eager you are to share everything right away, the more he will want to chase you. He will crave your attention and want to get to know you better. There's nothing wrong with making him work a little to get your most private thoughts and memories. In the end, he will admire the mystery he sees in you. After all, who does Batman really want to date? Catwoman or plain old Vicky Vale? Oh do you even have to ask? 6. Subtle flirting is better than trying too hard and better than ignoring. Don't fall into the trap of being too passive. Men do want signals showing that you're enjoying the chase. So be flirty but be subtle. 
Eye contact is good but constant staring is too much. Touching him occasionally is cute but clinging to his arm isn't cool. Let him lead the conversation rather than throwing pickup lines at him or talking about dating, sex, or anything too shocking for the first date. What you're doing is being flirty in a feminine way and not an overly aggressive way that scares most men from their natural hunting inclinations. 7. Never give up running. Men not only love the thrill of the hunt or chase in the beginning, they always do love it, now and forever, and even years into the future of the relationship. Men may like some routines but they don't like to settle down to a life of boredom. They want mystery. They want surprises from you. They always want to feel as if this is still a new relationship in the honeymoon stage, with all the same romance and excitement they felt in the beginning. As you can see, there are ways to make men chase you, yearn for you and obsess over you. It's not just that less is more, it's about sending the right signals to the man to keep him motivated. It's about making him work a little harder for what he wants most, your attention and trust. Just remember to always keep it fun. He shouldn't feel as if he has to chase you as an obligation, this is part of the game. This he should be thinking, this is fun, dot and I want more. Now you understand the thrill of the hunt. Found this information helpful? Please subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you.